So, in my last two talks, I've been talking about training the mind. And um, to give you the brief summary in a minute of what I've talked about so far, I've talked about how uh, humans are incorrect because their minds are not trained. And then I said, uh, there are only six people on planet Earth who can train you, and those are bona fide spiritual masters, or people that you might say are enlightened beings. And the best information we have is there are only six of them on the planet, and the best guess I have is all six are in India, and India has a population of over a billion people. So um, for you to go and waste money flying to India to try and find six people out of more than a billion uh, is a waste of money and a waste of time. So then I said, the next best thing you could do is be like me. And I said, um, how did I... First of all, I said, um, best guess is... Not even a guess. I can rest assured that my mind is not trained. And then I said, it might be half a percent trained or 99% trained. Probably it's... I can't even tell you. I cannot tell you because I don't have a bona fide spiritual master who can actually judge. Nevertheless, um, my mind is interested in meditation and it's interested in um, training itself. And then what I said in my last video is despite that, my mind quite often has meltdowns where it acts like a six-year-old and you know what six-year-olds are like when they have a crying fit you know they start kicking their feet and screaming and causing a big scene well i'm going to tell you adults are no different than six-year-olds they all have meltdowns and my mind has meltdowns and then i said um Despite the fact that uh, in my videos um, I sometimes have meltdowns, sometimes I'm completely off topic and I'm not talking anything to do with training my mind quite often, um, there are videos that I've made that are, in my opinion, very good when it comes to talking about meditation and training of the mind. Now, there are some people on YouTube who talk, and they might seem very calm, and quite often they talk about things like light worker, uh, astrology, energy reports, meditation. Um, some of them have got like guided meditation. Some of them are like, they make like tones, like binaural beat meditations. And that's how they do. Are they good? No. Why? Because they're not. They're not bona fide spiritual masters. So whatever they're putting out is I have no idea if it's any good. So should you listen to them? No. You're wasting your time. You're really wasting your time watching meditation videos on YouTube. Are you wasting your time watching my channel? No. But I do warn you that um, some of my videos are not going to be helpful at training your mind. Some of my videos are my mind having a meltdown. So, is it the same with them? Um, no, I think what they do is they 
um, act. These people on that have sometimes they've got, I don't know, hundred thousand subscribers, and they act. They're great actors. And you know, um, humans when they find a great actor, um, you know, famous movie stars, people will go to a movie because that movie stars in it. Are you learning anything from the movies? No. It's simply entertainment for your mind. It's not training your mind. It's not teaching you how to meditate. It's not giving you good information. But most people will go to see the movies before they even dream about learning the first thing about training their mind or the first thing about meditating. I know because I know a hell of a lot of humans. I've been on this planet for a hell of a lot of years. And... um. I'm just an expert in human nature, and it comes because of my age. It comes because of my age and just having that much time spent here. Most humans, I can't even tell you what percentage of them, but let's go with most humans are monkey-minded humans. And even the ones you see on TV on anything, YouTube, whatever, they're monkey minds. They don't have trained minds. But sometimes, through a miracle, people who have day-to-day -day monkey minds, sometimes they connect with unbelievable inspiration. And you know when they've been inspired. It's like um, a professional musician. When they're performing, they're, um, you know, people pay good money to go and see well known musicians because the musicians are really good at when they're up on stage performing music that you go, wow. But you know, and everybody knows that the life of a musician off stage is always a train wreck. Always, 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 always musicians' lives outside of their musical performance on stage, they are train wrecks. In other words, whatever inspiration they have when they're doing their music on stage disappears the minute the concert is over. So the minute that they stop doing the music, they're the same as you and I. They have untrained monkey minds. So, Uh, I'm still not able to give you too much more than silence. If you can get your mind to give you periods where it has gone silent, you're well on your way to having a trained mind. What is inner silence? That's exactly what it is. It's you sitting and your mind is calm and there is no, you know how sometimes your mind will start playing music in your head. They call it earbugs. Or your mind is um, 
your mind is anxious and you feel it in your tummy. It's like you got an upset you got an upset tummy and you say it's small, well, it's not my mind, it's my body. It's your mind that is upset. It's your mind that has anxiety and it expresses itself through different things in your body. Um, and a, a, a mind that doesn't have inner silence might have a lot of thoughts going through its head. Did I lock the door? I've gone to bed and I can't remember if I locked the door to the house. Did I lock the door to the car? Did I lock the door to the office? Did I check to see if there's gas in the car? If it's winter time, did I plug the car in because it's going to be 20 below tonight? I'm hungry. I just got into bed and I'm hungry and I gotta pee. All of those kind of things going on in your mind are not inner silence. When might you feel some inner silence? On a beautiful, warm, sunny day when you've got a beach chair and you're on the beach and you just had a Mai Tai. If you don't know what a Mai Tai is, it's an alcoholic drink. You sat there, you had a drink, and you're in the sun and there's no one around talking to you and bothering you. There's no dog coming up to you and shaking wet fur all over you. You're simply sitting there. You had a Mai Tai, and you have a quiet mind. That gives you a taste of what inner silence is. How many meditation teachers say, go sit on a beach, and have a Mai Tai. Just one, me. Don't have any more than two Mai Tais. So each Mai Tai would have one ounce of rum, let's say. I don't know what you make of rum. Is it? rum one ounce of rum or one ounce of tequila? One ounce. So in total, you're going to have two drinks with a total of two ounces of alcohol. Because if you have more than two, you're going to lose consciousness. And I don't want you to turn into an alcoholic and every day come home and have two Mai Tais and call it a meditation. That's not what I'm talking about. You do it one time. Only one time so that you can feel what inner silence is like. And then from then on, you quit drinking alcohol completely. Because if you get hooked on alcohol, you are never going to train your mind. Your mind is going to become addicted to alcohol, and you're never going to become a bona fide spiritual master, and you're not even going to get halfway there. Alcoholism is a huge problem on the planet. So don't go there. What about someone that says, well, why don't you, um, if you're going to have uh, two drinks, why don't you have um, some other drug? It's the same thing. It's too open to substance abuse. And people are going to do it because they do it all the time. You know, they try it and then maybe one time they feel good. And then they keep going back to it, and they get dependent on the substance, and that is a mistake, a huge mistake. So don't go down taking drugs, and don't go down taking alcohol to train your mind. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I'm going to give you more talks in between my mind having meltdowns about meditation and training your mind. And some of my uh, meltdowns are actually quite funny, and some of them are quite 
boring and some of them are horrible.